today we will be doing a another fantasy team battle. Today we're going up against none other than Tic Tacs HD. Now Cole actually only had four defensemen, so he's gonna have two forwards playing defense. And honestly, goaltenders are a pretty big thing in our league, so a lot of people have three to four goalies. And if it comes down to a time where, you know, I, I can't really fill up a team with enough players because they have too many goalies, then I'll probably just take one of the players they drop to free agency or something and put them back on the team because, you know, I guess that still kind of counts. However, in this case, Cole does in fact have enough. It's just, you know, he's going to have forwards on defense. That's all it is. So check out my lineup here again. We got Ovi, Pavelski, and the stud, Huberdeau. And then we got Oshi, Trocek, and Kyle Connor. Perron, Glass, Rust, Verona, Kalorn, and Olafsson. I'm just going to do best lines to make sure that's what they are. Okay. On defense, we got Ekblad and Latang, Ellis with Hamilton, and then Hag with Adam Fox. And that's not what I meant to go. In nets, we've got Vazzy and Samsonov. And then I guess I'll show you my scratched players because we have... Well, actually, I don't really have Allen anymore. He's kind of gone to free agency, but Cam Talbot finally came off the COVID list, so he's back in. And I'm pretty sure I didn't even end up adding Vanacek because his overall was lower so there wasn't really a point but he is also on my team now let's look at the squad for tactics so that first line is absolutely illegal he's got Ranton and Stamkos and Tarasenko and then Mantha with Kuznetsov and Marcheso, Landy Larkin and Forsberg that's quite the third line Ehlers Hurdle and Palat wow okay and then back here we've got Quinn Hughes playing with Shea Weber Tyson Berry with Ty Smith and then we've got the Nuge and Zabinajad as a pair. Interesting. I wonder how that's going to work out. Freddy and Dobby as the two goalies. Let's go to playoff mode and let's see what happens here. Can I go 2-0? Probably not, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. We've got a mode initiated here. I don't know why nothing... Well, I guess there is no stats yet, so that makes sense. Anyway... Let's go ahead and simulate the first game here, and let's see where this journey will take us. So, crank that simulation speed up. Soldier Boy up in here, and we are out of the gate strong here. Nice, OV on Freddy from that angle. That's interesting, but Landis Cog gonna get it right back. All right, so 1-1 one, one here halfway through the first, and March is so it's going to put the Detroit Tactics up. And then Ovechkin scores again. This is just a goal fest. Also, I did update tactics abbreviation this time so it's not gonna say aces still sorry about that finn but i'm not that sorry you know what i'm saying no tarasenko scores oh my and then Ehler scores right after yeah right okay relax zibanejad scores now mr defenseman over there okay sick that's awesome i love that for me pretty sure that we got destroyed in the first game against finn too though so you know it's all, it's all going to plan basically that's what i'm trying to get at here Halfway through the third period. Okay. Victor Olofsson and then Kuznetsov. The guy who I traded two tactics. Which, by the way, Pavelski and Perron. Where you at? All right? Because let's go here. Okay. Ovechkin is going to score. Olofsson's going to score again. But what a high scoring game. Holy crap. Okay. At least Pavelski got an apple. Perron was minus one. Guy's dash one and doesn't get a point. Unbelievable. Ovi, I just realized, yeah, he got a hat trick that game. What a beast. And then Olafson got two as well. Well, here are your three stars for game number one. If we had participation from the rest of the team instead of Ovi and Olafson, then might have stood a chance. Game number two here. Put that simulation speed up to eight and let us ride this one out here. Will we have a similar high scoring game or will the goaltenders steal the show this time? Let's find out. So far, it's looking like the goalies are doing a pretty good job. But also, Tactics doesn't really have a whole lot of shots, so hasn't been tested too much. Ovi again. Guy is just an animal, really. Shots are 15 to 7, 16 to 7, 17 to 7. Brian Rust. Gonna put one in the net, and then so is Olafsson. Sure, there we go. Love that for me. That's great. We're up 3 nothing now. 4 nothing. Hag, really? Hag, of all people, is gonna score. That is tremendous. Getting depth from our team. That's great. Okay, let's... Continue the simulation here. There was, I don't know if you guys saw that, but apparently the period length was 20 minutes and 6 seconds. That doesn't seem regulation to me. But uh, I guess I'm not a hockey official, okay? Forsberg will put in a goal, bring his team back into it a little bit here. 
Giving us a power play. Can't capitalize. And what a performance. Oh, boy. Did I jinx it? Oh, no. All right. What a performance for Vasilevsky. I mean, he did let in that other goal there, but still. Pretty solid. And we have a 1-1 series. Road trip from Toronto to Detroit. Let's get game number three underway. Who will take the 2-1 series lead? Will it be Tic Tacs HD? Or will it be Man of the Writ? We're going to find out in probably a few minutes here. Oh yeah, Ovechkin scores right off the bat. And so does Stamkos. Okay, so we have a tie game still. That's interesting. Got my hopes up and then crushed them. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Forsberg is going to score, and so is Ty Smith. All right. Goals just come in barrages in this game, it seems like. You know, it's like a tsunami. One goal gets scored, just let in 20. Perron scores, though. That's huge. And so does Adam Fox. That's great stuff. Okay, we have a tie game heading into period number three of game three. Look at that. Game three, score is three to three. And, yeah, we have... I don't know. A, an interesting series here so far, I want to say. Will this be the first overtime game? And it appears that it will be. So let's... Oh, wow. They have 38 shots. Tactics definitely deployed the shooting strategy. So did Ovechkin. Unbelievable, this guy. That's... How many goals is that for him now? Six or something? I just realized I forgot to show the three stars for game two. Damn it. Well, there's the three stars for game three. I love it. Ovechkin is just unbelievable. Guy doesn't have a single hamburger helper. He's just pure goal scorer. Ehlers will break the ice here for game number four, getting Tic Tacs on the board first. And it is one to nothing. Will that be the score heading into the second period? No, it will not because Cody Glass says, screw that noise, I'm scoring. Nice, okay. So now we have a 1-1 game into the second period here. Series is 2-1 for the Toronto Rockets. All right, we are halfway through this thing. We have a power play. No goal can be scored on the PP or I guess on the PK. No shorthanded goals. And is it going to be the same? Yes, it will. No goal scored in the second period. That's pretty intense. All right. Okay, Quinn Hughes, get out of here. There's going to be a tsunami now. Just wait. All right. Or the game's going to, it hears me and it's like, no, let's prove this idiot wrong and not do what he says. Hurdle scores, 3-1. Eight minutes to go. Third period. Will the series be tied 2-2 heading back to Toronto? It looks like it will be. Power play, too little, too late. Yes, it will. Series 2-2. And it's basically a best of three now. Here are the three stars in this one. Freddie Anderson stealing the show. Quinn Hughes putting up a goal and a hamburger helper. And then Hurdle also getting a goal. Ovi was held off the sheet for, I believe, the first time there. So that was... Unfortunate, but I'm sure he'll get back right now. We have game number five underway here. Whoever wins this takes a rather demanding lead. I mean, it is only one game, but that means they're one game away from winning the series. Tactics. Going to get on the board first here. Philip Forsberg from just above the hashies. Going to bury one on Vasilevsky. Let's get into the second period here. Come on, boys. We're out shooting them. What? You guys can't score on Freddy? Yeah, right. I don't believe that for one second. Huberdo, let's go from that angle too. I don't even care. Whatever. That's amazing. Actually, I haven't really seen a whole lot of Huberdo yet in this series, I don't think. So I'm happy he's getting on the board. Okay, come on, boys. 1-1. One, one. We need this. We need this. I don't want to be the team that has to come back. I'd rather be the team one away from winning. Oh, no, Kuznetsov. You're joking. It's going to be him, isn't it? He's going to be the one that buries me. That just, it would work that way. Pavelski and Perron are going to be silent, okay? And Kuznetsov going to be having the time of his life. And, oh, let's go! Let's go! His real teammate, Ovechkin, is going to tie this thing up with a buck nine left. All right, heading to overtime now. The shots are dead even here. And, let's go! Huberto! I can't believe this. Here are the three stars in this one. Huberto. An absolute stud muffin, two goals and an apple. Ovi with one goal and two apples this time. So he decided to pass the puck a little bit this time around. Vasilevsky, unbelievable. All right, we are back in Detroit now. Unless this is happening in some kind of bubble, who knows? But yeah, Toronto, one game away from taking a dub in this series. But I don't think tactics is going to go down that easy. Tarasenko... Puts one in here in the first period, and that will break the ice for game number six. 
Let's see, who wants it more? Does Toronto want the series or does Tactics want to push a game seven? Let's go, Vrana! Yes, absolute beautician. All right, he's actually been very good this year. Stamkos with a goal as well. That's going to put Tactics back up by one here, halfway through this game. Power plays, and we actually capitalize on ours. Kyle Connor with a goal. But Ty Smith is going to put one back right away and put Tactics back in the lead. So basically... Right after we scored both of our goals, they scored. That's awesome. I love that. It's an immediate roller coaster. You know, you're climbing up, we score, and then boom, 90 degree drop. They score right after. Two power plays here. That seemed like a long power play, too. Ovechkin again! This guy is absolutely insane. Oh my word. Okay. Come on, here we go. Who is going to put one in here? We got two minutes left. Okay, we're jumping in. We're jumping in. Okay, here goes nothing. I guess I could do the broadcasting camera angle, but truthfully, I'm too lazy to change it. So, we're just gonna rock this here. There is two minutes to go in this one. Game is tied 3-3, and whoever... Win well, I shouldn't say that, because, you know, realistically, we can still win the next one. But if they win this one, it really shifts the momentum in their favor. And I think it's gonna be tough for us to come back. So, I really do think that this game is going to decide the series. But then again, it's also a video game simulation, so probably not. I take that back. Oh, what a save by Vazzy. Fire me up. All right, pin in the corner there. Kuznetsov playing it down low. Comes around the net now. And pinned again against the board. Shocker. Computers love doing that. Absolute favorite thing in the world. Hughes now gets it. Wow, we're getting dominated here. Oh, boy. Nice steal, though. That's great. Huberto skate. There you go. Now take it wide. Nope, he's going to get knocked off the puck, and here comes Rantanen over to Forsberg, who goes for a deke, gets it poked off of him, though, and they still have possession of the puck. Coming back in now as Forsberg tries to let a clap bomb go, doesn't get through. Rantanen's going to pick it up in front of the net, but a big save by Andre Vasilevsky. NHL, if you're watching, this is my tryout tape, by the way. I will commentate for you. Not that people would want that, obviously, but uh, I'm just saying offers on the table. One minute to go. Will this game be headed to overtime? I mean, I kind of hope not, because I'm in a little bit of a time crunch here. Well, not like a super big time crunch, but decent. All right, so... Oh! Perron gets bowled over. That's a delayed penalty. And a power play coming up for the Toronto Rockets here. 51.8 to go. And a big, big penalty to take there for Ranton. And that is just undisciplined hockey. I mean, to be fair, what a hit. But, yeah, kind of... Oh, it was elbowing. I was going to say maybe a charge, but I guess elbowing kind of makes sense too. How can you, you know, like in a video game, how can you take an elbowing penalty? You can't really determine that, I don't think. It's not like you press the elbow button, but anyway, whatever. Let's go offside, guys. That's great. Look, at there's that beauty right there. There he is. Certified unit. Prochek's got the puck down low. He gets it taken off him by Weber, but he's still fighting for it. Will he be able to get it? No, Forsberg's going to dump it down. Go, Trocek puts it over. Oh, what a steal by Barry. That could have been the series. But Barry, not going to let it end that easy. And it looks like we are indeed headed to overtime here. So either we're going to have a golden goal to win this series or they're going to push a game seven. The power play still exists here, but probably... Well, I guess they still have about a minute left on it, right? Because he took it with like 51 or 58 seconds left. Here we go. Pavelski puts it over to Huberto and Freddie Anderson going to make a huge save to keep his team alive. Ovechkin coming in. Guy has been a goal scoring machine so far in this series. Will he finish it? That could have been it. That was a great shot. But Anderson going to make a huge stop there. And it looks like, well, there's still 30 seconds left in the penalty, but they might or might not. I wish I said may, but I already committed to might. So I, oh no, it's four on four. Oh boy. I don't understand why when you do a CPU versus CPU game, you can't skip anything. Okay, well that time it works. Great. I honestly hate you. Why do you listen to me and prove me wrong every time? Tyson Berry in the middle to Marchessault, who's going to miss the net. Marchessault had a golden opportunity there, but could not capitalize. But his team still is on the power play here. A great clear for the Toronto Rockets. See, I can't skip. I can't freaking skip anything. It has to show all of this. I don't want to see this. Kuznetsov coming in. Two on one here. Gets it over to Stamkos who lets a shot go. And another big save by Vasilevsky. Man, these goaltenders are stealing the show right now. Tarasenko has it in close. Another pass. There it is. 
that will be the game ladies and gentlemen a one-timer on the power play in the slot and just like that we have ourselves a game seven to go and witness well here's the stats for this one we have 36 shots for toronto only 28 for tactics the hits like that yeah i'll just let you guys read that if you want to stamkos first star kuznetsov was the second star i did not see who was the third star actually and i don't know if i have to wait for it to go all the way back there uh, can you see it after the game, or does it bring you right back to the menu after this now? I don't remember, but we'll wait and see if it shows the third star again. <laughs> Did you see that? What the hell happened to his body? Holy crap, that was scary. Oh, what a hit. Alright, can we see the third star again, or nah? Because if nah, just let me... That was rough. Just let me know, and I'll... I'll show myself out, alright? If you're not gonna show me a third star... Okay, after this one, if it's not, then I'm leaving. No, alright, I'm out. It's time, ladies and gents. For game number seven, we are in Toronto here. Imagine I hit the sim to next game by accident, how tragic that would be. Okay, here we go. Who will take home the series in the final matchup here? Will it be Tactics or will it be our squad? Let's find out. So far, not a whole lot of offense going on. Oh, the shots are starting to go up a little bit here. Okay, power play for Toronto and no capitalization. We're going to have a scoreless first. Is that, that might actually be the first time that's happened. Period number two, shots are still about even here, and we have ourselves quite the interesting affair so far compared to how this series has been going. It's been pretty offensive for the most part, but right now it looks like defense and goaltenders are stealing the show. No way. We really are going into the third period with no goals yet. This is unbelievable. We are being outshot quite intensely right now yeah it's getting bad okay there we go Perron no way come on dude that would be hilarious if Perron gets the series winning goal oh man but no I know Kuznetsov's gonna come and get about 32 snipes in the last five minutes here it's just gonna work out that way oh here we go come on three minutes two minutes no way one minute no way no way Perron gets the game winning goal are you kidding me that is hilarious the man, the myth, the legend, part of the trade where Tactics sent Piranha Pavelski my way, and I shipped Kuznetsov off his way, and that is, normally it works against me, but this time it worked for me. I love it. I also meant to go to three stars, but I'm assuming it would have just been both goalies and Piran, uh, but I accidentally over right, you know, I pressed the right d-pad i guess it's called one too many times so i don't know why i had to look at it and uh, anyway here are your stat leaders ovechkin with 10 points and eight goals in seven games has more than a goal a game huberdo with eight points we got olofsson with five forsberg five kuznetsov with five march so with five as well pavs put up five tarasenko four Ehlers. i'll kind of just scroll down here so you guys can see everybody who got no points no one okay everybody got at least one point it's good stuff and then if we go to uh the goaltenders Let's see how they did. So, neither of them even got pulled. So, yeah, that's that's interesting. Vasilevsky went four. Well, it doesn't really matter. He got a shutout anyway, the final game there. And they have almost the exact same. This is insane. Wow. That's crazy. They have the same amount of goals against. The same amount of shots against. The same amount of saves. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. That is intense. Holy crap. And they're both drafted in 2012. One was round one, one was round three. Very, very interesting that it turned out like that. All right, well, GG Tactics. Uh, go check out his link in the description, guys. Be sure to go to his channel. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably already subbed to him anyway. But yeah, that was that. An interesting series. And the Toronto Rockets are still undefeated. So my record in fantasy right now is two and three. But, you know, NHL thinks otherwise. So... Yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.